Hi, my name is David Campbell, and today I'm going to demonstrate Activity 5-2, creating a user template. First, we're going to go to Administrative Tools, Directory, User, and Computers. For our objective for today, we're going to create a user template for populating the cells OU with users. So we're here, we're going to click on Marketing OU, Cells. And now in the sales OU, we're going to create a user with a full name, dash, or underscore sales template. User, full name, underscore, sales, template. And that is perfect. Now the logon name is going to be the cells but with no space. Let's see if we can get a better view on this. And the password is going to be password 01. And then we're going to make sure the count is password 01. We disable the account 01. Okay. So we're going to finish this. And of course, password at so we have our user right here. Now we're going to right click on the cells template user. Go to let me see, making sure. properties and then in the general tab we're going to click the sales template user accounts so in the description we're going to type in building one and then we're going to give um in the web page box we're going to www.coolgadgets.com so so let me do that www.coolgadgets.com and then we're going to give them a number 555 5555 okay And description. Oh, nice what it did. We're going to type in building one as the office and then we're going to sales template. G template. That's right. He's a gangster. Template user accounts. Now we're going to click the address tab. We're going to give them an address 555 Flint Street in the street Metropolis. Let's see if it doesn't have that. In the city. Yes, city Metropolis. State easy as as Arizona, 
We're going to give him the zip code 12121. Show design 555. And of course, this guy's going to be in the great country of the United States of America. Or just the United States. And then from here, we're going to click on the organization tab. We just got to find it. Organization. Right, let's see what's happening here. That was odd. Okay. Sales. So we're just adding a lot more information. Department text or company. Let's see. Cool gadgets in the company. Okay, we're going to click the members of tab. We just got to find this. There we go. We're going to click add. And then we're going to type in cells G and then enter the object name. And then we'll just hit check names and we'll click OK twice. OK. Okay, so yeah, we need it on there. Now I'm just making sure everything's working just right. So I just need to add a So I was able to get the cells G's in there. So now we just need um to in the right pane of the Active Directory user and computers, we're going to right click on the cells template. And we're going to click copy. And then we're going to type cells for the first name, last name. Person one in the last name. Oh, no space. And then sales person, all one word, for the full name. And then we're going to click type password for the password. We're going to click next and then password and one as the password. And we're going to click the clear the account is disabled. And then we're going to check box and then click next to finish.
Now we're going to right click the salesperson one and click properties. And then we're going to go to the sales template. See if we can get both of them. It's not liking that. Let's see if there we go. I might just have to go back to there. Okay, so right here. Now we'll notice that they have different fields, last name, display name. Now we're going to go click organization. And now we'll notice that the let's go to address address address. For some reason it just did not want to count, but we should have two different um settings the sales person one properties and the sales template um, should be one should be blank and one shouldn't be that actually uh, concludes this demonstration of activity 5-4 Com so excuse me this is not activity 5-4 activity 5-2 creating a user template thank you and have a great day